Oh, oh wow. Don't do this to me. In the place. Are we rolling? Yeah. Oh, God. Here Gone we down. Go. Hit me. Three, two, oh. one. It's uh, back to the Otter Works Potter, Potter <laughs> Stories <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Joined with myself, Dan Pettit. Up it. Nice, Joss. Yeah, we got in the bright corner, Benjamin Lawton. Hello, hello. Good to be here again. On my left side, none other than M. Money Barrow. M. Money nah. Barrow, in the place. Hello. And in the production suite, a voice that you've never heard before from that side of the room, it's G. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> Speak then, Joss. Come on. Hello. <laughs> here it is. We are back, and we are back for good. We say that every single time, but <laughs> <laughs> who knows? This might be a two week stint, or it might just be another one off special episode. But actually, you're here with a full suite of otters. Ben, how are you doing on this fine day as you go to sip that coffee? I'm good, thank you. Joss, what coffee is this? Uh, this is Rave Coffee. It's an Ethiopian coffee from Rave in Sirens. It's very nice, yeah. I feel yeah. like I'm at Dark Room. Ooh, it smells like it. Wow. wow. Max, over to you, buddy. How are you doing? Any new purchases recently? Anything going on in your life that we don't need to know about or we do need to know about? Uh, nice. I, can't remember where, I can't remember when the last podcast was. We should address but... this. Sorry. I moved into my flat. There we go. Big news. That that was that's done. I, I remember there was a podcast where that we leaked that. That was that was <laughs> Lovely. October. Shit, mad. I remember that. Yeah, um, moved in. All we good. we should address the big news actually about your other half. My other half, Karis. She has officially got her uh, IMDb page today. Wow. So if you're ever interested, go and look up Karis Handy on IMDb, and you will find a VFX. Layout technical director. What a creative family. Hey, Ben. Hi, Karis. There it is. Cre- should, creative families, hey? We should listen to this. She will Probably, now. yeah. If Let's I tell go. her she's in it. Hi, Karis. Love yeah. you, Karis. We're still yet to meet her. Yes. Yeah, I've been keeping her Joss as far away as possible. Joss has met her. He has. I have met her. So she is real. Um, Max, who <laughs> do you think Karis would get on with more, Ben or I? Um, it's got to be Ben, isn't it? I think we've asked this before. I think... We? I think that it would probably be Ben on a sen- on like a on a roasting front because I think you guys will both like bounce off each other. We both roast very down quick, yeah, yeah. or you, uh, nice. or probably me. Um, but she would be fucking on you about photography and everything like that, mate. Pale's film, swear that. that. Yeah, she talked to you about that for a long time. Nice. I'm sure. Who does she think is the better photographer out of you and Dan? Dan, seriously. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't asked her. I might oh, ask her, actually. Yeah, cause she, Why do you have to bring that up? I didn't bring anything up. Because we all know that Amber's photo- Amber prefers Max's photography over mine. Well, no, because that, that, that wasn't actually true in the end. Bon, bet Bon? Bon was just stirring the pot that day. <laughs> Poor Bon. And it, <laughs> that's my new nickname. <laughs> um, nice. Ben. Yeah. Your family. How's it going there? Still strong? Still living? Well, it's ironic you use the term family, Dan, because we have mm. a little one on the way. Let's go. Say what? Woo! Yeah. Josh, can you put some sound effects on that? Well, exclusive. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm having a baby. I'm bling, bling, bling. Rip the eardrums. Oh, God. I was kind of hoping for more like a DJ siren. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm having a awesome. baby. DJ. <laughs> just, just drop a random sound. I hope it's not the, the bird effect. Or... Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He's got all of them labeled. Oh, he knew yeah, what he was doing. Exactly Sad was sound. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for my son or daughter to listen to that, Joss. Oh, wow. I thought I'm... it was going to be the crickets one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sorry, boss. Oh, mate, that's incredible news. Yes. This is a world exclusive. It is, yeah. I don't think I, I don't think we've even put it on social media or anything. Wow. Yeah. Amber was talking about doing it the other day, and she was like, oh, can we do a post where um, she just described something, no offense to her, that was pretty cringe. And I was like, no, nah, <laughs> we're not doing You could that. do like a cross post. You know where you like collaborate on nah, a post? Nah, nah. Nah, man, you've got, you got to move in silence. Oh, you know what you... We, <laughs> we win in silence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a question. Are you going to do a gender reveal party? Can, no. I, can, can I dress up as... We in, don't, we don't know colour? what the gender is. Yeah, but that means you don't get the, the gender reveal party, though. Well, maybe we'll do it on the second one if there's a second one. But one might be enough. Part two. Who knows? Yeah. Coming from, you... come from your family, though. Four, well, four's enough for them. Amber would have to go through morning sickness again. She fucking hated that. Apparently, yeah. To be fair, I wouldn't want to go for it. No, neither. After after seeing it, is it true that it's it's, it's not just in the morning? Yeah, it fucking. I don't know why they call it that. Wow. It's like it's like calling it like. I'm gonna think of something good here. Imagine calling it right the 
the morning breathe. What? Like, oh, because you breathe all the time. You breathe all the fucking time. It's like it's, it's the morning breath. It's like no, you breathe all day, every day. Yeah, that was. I was kind of hopefully going for something a bit, bit more technical, but a bit more comedic. Yeah. Nice. How long did morning sickness last, or is it something that goes throughout the whole? I would say about she had it. So you normally get in the first trimester, which is the first three months. <sighs> Trimesters. Some people do get it longer though. Um, she, I reckon she had it probably for a good eight weeks of feeling like shit. And she was on these special pills from the doctor as well for people who get it bad. And they wow. helped a little bit. But overall, she like, yeah, it just, it must be shit because you go through, you, you're basically feeling that rough and there's nothing you can do about it. True. Imagine being ill and it's like, oh yeah, the doctor's like, oh yeah, by 14th week, you should be fine. And you're on eight weeks in. It's like, I've got this for six weeks. That's a long slog. <laughs> yeah, that's so shit. Um, we, well, this is, this could be a whole new section. Maybe we just check in with you weekly about becoming a dad. That'd be cool. <laughs> Things to becoming a dad. And then when eventually when the, the newborn comes along, the little spring chicken that it is, we can then just check in with you then as well. You'll be like, absolutely knackered. You've got bags under your eyes. Yeah. And we'll be like, oh, so what is it like now? And you'll I just reckon be, I'll be all right. Telling the story. I reckon you will be as well. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to get to do laps of the garden before bedtime. With the, the, kid. the kid, yeah, yeah, tire it out straight in, yeah, it's like getting the garden, even yeah. when it can't walk, yeah, no, they can, just, can't they? Like no, horses, they just come right. straight out and start walking, yeah. Appa- my, apparently, I came out of a suit and tie on, wow. ready, ready for the world, bore out mode on the phone to clients, yeah, <laughs> <Do you laughs> buy, sell, buy, buy, sell. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty mad that the whole kind of uh, the animal kingdom, a lot of the animal kingdom, they come, they come out, and they're, they're as soon as they're newborn, they can start walking, talking. And doing stuff, whereas humans, like you know, we're so fucking in, useless. Like, we are on. soft, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. What the hell's that about? Fucking no idea. It's stupid. It, do you know of any of... other animals that have like interesting uh, birthing arrangements? Sea, seahorse. <laughs> Seahorses. Sea the, the the blokes give birth. The blokes give birth. Yeah, they, carry, they carry the kid. So I don't Google it. You know it's um, f- you know it's flying ant season at the moment. <laughs> Mate, do I know that? It's my living gross. room is full of them. <laughs> oh my god, mate! Good podcast. You're they're, right, ben. they're possibly yeah. the worst type of animal. Anyway, um, I'm the, so, the, sorry. Are we going into the birthing segment, or are we, just, are we now in flying ants? Uh, d- we'll keep the flants just for a sec. The flants, yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, so the bigger ones are actually the females. Really? Yeah. I but, thought they were the queen. So, so yeah. What happens is the are big they midges. One, no, no, no. They're flying ants. They go up into the sky and they make love in the sky while up in the air. <sighs> so romantic. But obviously, whilst they're up there, it's a bit dangerous making love in the air because you've got seagulls and birds Wouldn't trying know. to eat you out of the air. Wouldn't know. Imagine that being attacked by a seagull, and then they come down and they lay their they lay eggs. The we should try and find eggs. we should try and find some put Larvae. the macro lens on, and make a epic montage and put the like the Top Gun music over it. Oh yeah, because they're flying and making love at the same time. It's pretty nuts. How are we going to simulate something fucking in the air though on a macro lens? VFX, give it to Karis. <laughs> yeah, we should got. We're going to have to like cross uh, pollinate. You know, agents. So that would be her IMDb. Yeah, IMDb be credit Aqu- for that. Aquaman yeah. and then. <laughs> Weird otter film. <laughs> Ant shag. <one>. Yeah. <laughs> Ant life was a great film, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Mate, your segues. Ant life. Or was it Bugs life? Bugs life. Bugs life. <laughs> it's Ants and Bugs life. Oh, Ants, Ants was yeah, sick. That was so good. Yeah. He nicks the princess, doesn't he? Yeah. A fantasy crazy. I think we've all thought about. Like Mario. <clears throat> Bowser. Bowser. Say something. Yeah. Bowser. 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 Nice. Boy girl. <laughs> Boy. Dan, how are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. Do you have a life update? You've been away? Yeah. For, for, I feel like I haven't seen you. I've been a bit... Um, Hello. I've been a bit AFK recently. <laughs> <laughs> for those that don't know. What does that mean, Ben? In your sense, fucking no idea. <laughs> In gaming terms, it means away from keyboard. Well, I have been. Uh, oh, went, yeah, I guess so. Went to the Isle of Wight for a week on a little Holly Bobs. That was all right. It's actually like the most haunted island in the world, apparently. Okay, cool. Next subject. That's quite mad. Yeah. Um, uh, they've got their... They predate back to like the 600 uh, BC. Why is it haunted? It's just a really haunted island. Did I, you, I didn't actually get spooked out or anything. Did you see anything? No, no, no. I've been told. By who? Uh, Google. <laughs> yeah. Well, whilst I was there, actually, I actually downloaded a um, ship tracking app. So I just sat on the beach looking at what the ship was such in front a of dad, me. Mate. You're such a dad, <laughs> It's ridiculous. And oh my god! I'm the one having the kid, not him. Second to that, I actually finished. I read. I started and finished a whole book when I was away. Wow! Just get me a sound effect on that, please. Oh, yeah. fuck it! What the fuck? <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, thanks for that, Joss. Um, and then we came back. Came back. Went to London for a shoot with Howard and an insurance 
company and this weekend just got on a festival so shooting there so yeah that's why boy. i've been afk yeah yeah a wall as i would say in the in the army they would say a wall you hadn't worked out for two weeks had you no i got an email from crossfit saying we miss you where are you <laughs> did, did, did you so reply much. saying nah. omw <laughs> bby <laughs> what, is that, what does that mean on my way baby girl oh yeah no nah, i did bbg no nah. bubba bubba Joss, how are you now that we can actually talk to you? It's nice to hear your voice. Oh, thanks, mate. I'm good, mate. Uh, similar to Dan, had a busy couple of weeks. You didn't what? come out of white? No, I didn't go to out of white with you and Hannah. But oh, you know. I went to Bulgaria. I went to <laughs> Bulgaria for work, which was pretty cool, with Cord Cloud, one of, our, one of our clients, which was a fun trip. And then... And you flew business class, Joss, didn't and you? And I flew business class, yeah, which was a <laughs> pretty cool experience. Big thanks to Cord Cloud for that. Um, and then, yeah, was in London last week with Dan as well, so... Yeah, it's been a busy couple of weeks, but it's nice to be in the office this week with a couple of shoots here and there. But um, apart from that, just living life. It, it's really weird to um, hear your voice but not be able to see you. Yeah, it is. It's quite Sorry. nice, isn't it's, it? It's like I'm on the phone to you, but you, uh-huh. you, you, but I care about what you're saying this time. Thanks. It's, it's the opposite to what my parents used to tell me as a kid. What? <laughs> they always said, you should be seen, not heard. And we can hear him, but we can't see him. There we go. The Your parents should nice. say you should be seen, not heard. Yeah, like shut up, get in the corner. You should be seen, not heard. <laughs> My parents should say you're a good show, but you're on too long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Why is that funny? I well, agree. It's quite Sorry. Accurate, Sorry, yeah, I think I'm funny for 10 minutes and then I'm borderline autistic and annoying. We Ben's parents are maybe some of the funniest people I've ever met. But well... They're both hilarious, but your dad tops it. Biscuit, yeah. um, today we had the suit fitting for Ben's wedding coming up and... His dad is just meme comical gold con- consistently. Like we we're literally in the suit suit uh, shop, and he, he gets in, he goes, puts his suit on, he comes out, and he's got a suit jacket, trousers, he's got a polo shirt on, he's got his Birkenstock pink polo shirt, pink polo shirt, he's got his Birkenstock flip flops on. He's so brown because he lives in Sidmouth, doesn't yeah. he? He's just like so tanned, living the retirement life. And he's just there, like, arms out. And the guy's like, okay, you can um, put your arms down now. And he's just, like, puts his arms down. He's stood, like, <laughs> he's just a pencil. flapping, doesn't he? He's, like, dancing like a penguin. And, yeah, and then the guy's trying to make adjustments. And he's just doing random shit the whole time. Absolutely brilliant. And that's why we love your dad. Yeah. Did you get the suits? We did. Nice. They've been, they've been adjusted and mailed to me. Wow. And then we're going to... In the post. What? Um, try them on. And that'll be that. What colours did you go for? Is that, like, top secret? Greige. Greige. Yeah, it's nice. grey beige. I don't know how to describe it. It's a nice colour, Dan, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice. Dan quite liked the suits. Have you got Love one of those, like, because, you know, they normally do, like, a like a pocket square thing or mm. a pocket thing that's a different colour, like a contrasting colour? Um, you need to speak to Amber about that, mate. Okay. She has a theme, and I'm going to go out on a whim here and guess what it is, if I can remember right. It's white, purple for lavender, and I think gold is the theme. So the, the suits are kind of gold. They're, like, Jeez. goldy kind of brownie kind of colour. And I think the pocket square is going to be purple like lavender. I think mine will just be a bit bigger because I'm obviously the one slaying the bride. That is a groom, wow. respectfully. Um, do you think I'll be able to have one button too many open on my shirt? I think if anyone's going to be that person, it's going to be you. Nice. You should get a, like, um, a fake beard and like glue it to your chest so, so you look like a mafia boss your chest is like, overflowing. He doesn't, he doesn't need to glue it, man. Yeah, I'm quite, lucky. Show us. I'm quite lucky that the chest hair I've got is quite abundant anyway. Oh, yeah, um, your carb. Uh, so Jesus. I'm a bit I'm a bit like a young Ryan Giggs. <laughs> mate, you could swim in that hair, um, mate. It's deep. And what I'm planning on doing is having that open so then people on the island in Greece will think that I'm a local. They definitely will, because your dad's Greek, isn't he? Yeah, kind of semi-Greek, yeah. Asian Greek. Cypriot, yeah. Grecian. Yeah. I think that's... Greek-Asian. Greek-Asian, yeah. 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 So, yeah, it should be all right. Probably... <laughs> Well, I'm vegan as well, so I'm probably going to have to go over there and eat halloumi, like the, the motherland's food, you know? You're going to have, have to learn yeah. how to speak the language. Yeah. Probably otherwise, as soon as you speak English, they're going to be like, he's not from these ends. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about that, mate. Can you do a Greek accent? I, I can't. I actually don't know. No, I'm not going to do it. Go on. No, because it's probably not politically correct and it might get me cancelled. Yeah. So let's not do that. Hey, Joss. <laughs> hey, Dan. So download one of those like uh, lingo app, Duolingo, so you don't walk the walk. But you walk the walk and you can talk the talk. Yeah. What about if I just get the app and I speak into it, then it translates it out? Is that what that does? Um, no, I think it teaches you how to speak it. So you don't have, you skip the middleman, you just deliver. Just straight with that, mate. It's way easier. Yeah, but then they're going to know your English. Be seen, not heard. 
Nice. Call back. Nice. <laughs> Just write everything Call down back. and show it like that. Your dad's listening like... <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, what's happening with you, mate? You're quiet in there. Yeah, we need to steer oh. us. What, what do you want me to say? Just tell us an update on yourself, mate. Oh, That's I all. bought a new camera. Finally did it, as you boys know. Let's I, go. I... I uh, have commitment issues to making big purchases and I couldn't decide on what camera to buy for probably almost a year. Um, Sound like someone I know, Joss. Yeah. Like boss-like employee. Wow. <laughs> um, but yeah, yes, not you're not yesterday, but a couple of weeks ago I pulled the trigger and it arrived yesterday. Bought me Mamiya 645, which is a medium format film camera, sticking to my film roots. But um, yeah, should be good. And for, I'm for, that, for those of those that don't know cameras, Joss... Yes. Not me, but other people. <laughs> Mainly me. What does medium format mean? Uh, so medium format, basically, if you think about a 35mm film camera, so like the ones that Dan and I have used in the past, the one that Dan is holding up right now. Which is like a go. standard sensor size, right? Yeah, pretty standard. Medium format is essentially a larger sensor, and it takes a larger film, so you get more data, basically. It's just a, a larger sensor. Would you say more pixels? Uh, is that the equivalent? I, yeah, captures more information. Yeah, equivalent to more pixels, but in a but in a film in a film way, more dots per inch. Yeah, is there exactly. a is there a if there's thirty five medium format? Is there something even bigger than that, like big format? Uh, yeah, large, large format. format. Yeah, oh, so course, that's of course. It, to cliche, it's it's something like eight by ten. I think is the is the format, and wow. that's that's you know the classic big cameras that you see where someone has to pull a slide out and they put the hood over their head. Oh, wow, yeah. That, and it's long exposures. But there's still a lot of people that use that kind of stuff today. It's just a lot more expensive and is, a lot more time-consuming. Is small format 35 mil? Or is that something like it's middle micro small? Micro four-thirds. Micro four-thirds, yeah. But that's more of a digital format than film. I don't think you can get a micro four-thirds film camera. Can you get a small format? Did no, they, did they, no. So they didn't complete the trio? No, they didn't. That angers me. It's 35. I, I don't know. It might have been... It, maybe it used to be called that, but it's just known as 35 mil these days. Cool. Yeah, there what, you go. What if if 35 is obviously 35 mil? What is medium format? It's called 120 film. That's just what it's called. Is it 120 mil? Uh, yes. Yeah. For the sake of the conversation, yes. And large format is 240 mil. Uh, we I get... don't actually know because it's it tends to be sheet film. It's not like something Sorry. you put on a reel and, and spin around and wind up. It's Sorry. Yeah, just want it to make sense in my head. No, that's no, okay. It's, it's techie. Have you taken any photos yet, Joss? I've taken one. Well, I took one by accident off the desk as I loaded the film. The so that first was photo. A, no. a great start. Oh, no. And then I took one of Max uh, stood next to the window. So, You're going to yeah. be able to see all my pores, mate, on medium format. It's going <laughs> to wow. be brilliant. Is it that high def? The, the detail, medium format photos are like notorious for being like... Like 4K? Yeah. <sighs> like More 4K. That, like <laughs> unreal. Yeah. But um, it's a, a twenty-eight. Well, it's the equivalent of a twenty-eight mil lens as well, which is the same as Dan's Leica. And how so, much did you how much did you pay for it, Josh? I paid three hundred and eighty pounds, and I got it shipped from Japan. Wow! There's, there's a big second-hand market for film cameras in Japan because, well, Mamiya is a Japanese company, and it seems like there's just loads of cameras still left there. Um, so I got it shipped over. The shipping, to be fair, was only about I don't know, forty quid. Mm-hmm. But to get it from Japan, it seems pretty good to me. How much? How much? Um, how old is it? Uh, so the model that I got was made between 1979 and 1990. So you can't buy them anymore then? No, 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 no. Wow. Not new, no. Can you buy new medium format cameras? Do people even do them? or there, is it? There are a few companies, I think, that make them. Fuji? Um, oh, yeah, really? Yeah, Fuji do actually. Yeah. Um, but is, they, they tend to be very expensive, like digital two, now, three thousand. Yeah. Is it like how companies have come about now and made like new vinyl analogs and stuff, but the old ones are still better? Yeah, I... Uh, I I don't know enough about it to say for definite, but I, I would assume so. No, I, I would assume so, yeah. What are you looking forward to shooting on it? Is it black and white? The, the film I've got at the minute is black and white, but I'm <laughs> going to get some colour film as well. So do you colour it in once it's done? Yeah, it's like uh, colour the number. You colour the number? That was a joke. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> do you know what that is, Dan? Uh, yeah. yeah I used cool. to colour by numbers. 11 is what colour? Always the same Brown. Colour, mate. Seven one six M. It was the same color, so you color by number, but you just get a red pen and yeah. just color the whole thing yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> All red. <laughs> uh, oh, nice. Dan's, Dan's coloring. Looking this way, and I'm, I'm thinking, am I the laughing stock? No, we're like... laughing with you, mate. Oh, right. Dan's coloring books are just like pages of solid <laughs> colors, <laughs> like a swatch. Yeah. Um, 
Actually, Ben, um, you should roll with this now you've got that in your hand. Just cut to that camera, please. Ooh. Uh, back to this camera, please. Yep. Um, well, this podcast is actually sponsored by none other than Huel. Uh, really, thank you, Huel, for sponsoring us with these lovely milkshakes. Isn't oh. that right, Ben? Cease and desist incoming. Why? I mean, uh. sponsored, like, we pay for it, so it's kind of a sponsor, right? That's how it works? Yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how they'd feel about you calling them milkshakes, though. Well, they are milkshakes when I put milk in them. <laughs> <laughs> and they're delicious. I've changed the product. And they're delicious. I'm on my fourth bag now. Well, I've actually got four bags in my arsenal. In your what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he was going to say oh something. <laughs> four bags in my arse. <laughs> no. uh, I've got banana. Banana is a great one in my arsenal. Um, <laughs> salted caramel. Chocolate. You have got a fantastic arsenal. And cookies. Yeah. And they're all delicious. Do you support Arsenal? No. Okay. Who do uh, you support? No one. England. Max? Football uh, team? Yeah, football. Just, just football in general. Uh, Joss supports uh, West Ham. Uh, sport. Everton, up the toffees. Did you see the women England team last night? Yeah. 8-0. Wow. They Norway? Beat. Yeah. 8-0, wow. bruv. That was good. It was crazy. Was it good? Was it a good game? It was a very... Let's go. Just, just slaughter. It was like watching Swindon play under 10s. Jeez. Up the Lionesses. Yeah. Big time. It's coming home. It bloody might be. It might be. USA's not in it. When was the last time Let's go. England had a World Cup in their hands, Max? But he doesn't know this, does he? Just football, mate. Do, do you know what year they won? You're so ready. Yeah, it's just football. You don't know what year they won? I can't won. say you're so ready, mate. You're so people, Henley. People from Reading would kill me. You must know what year we won it, mate. I, I genuinely have no idea. What, the number of the devil? 1666. <laughs> <laughs> 1666. <laughs> 1996. 1966. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 1966, we won the 1666, World Cup. that was brilliant. Thank you, Joss. Nice. <laughs> 1966 was when we last won the World Cup. Yeah, and, and this that... year it's coming home again. 2022, Lionesses and Lions. Guitar. Bring it home. Guitar. Uh, guitar. Guitar. You, you guitar. Play guitar. <laughs> guitar. Didn't we almost win, win, win it? Win it. A while back. Yeah. I saw I saw videos of people on buses. Let's not talk about that. Uh, on, on the roofs of buses and things. It was all kicking off a bit. What was that? Euros or World Cup? Uh, that, was, that was the Euros, right? Yeah. Was that not a good time? It's just we've covered it before. It makes me want to, it makes me want to go for a wall. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, there's nothing worse than wanting to go for a wall, mate. Just honestly. little things. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, do you have any? Um, do you have any advice? Uh, financial we'll advice? Stop. Do I have financial advice? Yeah. What's the situation? Anything about the the kind of economics that are happening at the moment? If you kind of start saying something, I can then ad lib. Okay. Sure. Uh, that gives me a lot to work with, Dan. Um, don't spend loads of money right now. Why? Why is that? Because is it true that inflation is high? Yes. <laughs> Fuck it out. Are you ask I'm Jeeves? Fuck it out. Yeah. yeah. Right. Do you remember Ask Jeeves? <laughs> yeah, mate. Is that thing still about? Do you even do you even know who yeah, Ask Jeeves I mean, is? Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that young. <laughs> Quite offended. Fucking yes, I was. When my life said I'm not that young. That was like the original search engine, wasn't it? I yeah. Know. No, mate. What was the first one? Like Yahoo or Google. Nah. Yeah. I Jeeves, remember Jeeves came I remember, in late. I remember Jeeves before Google. I don't I don't remember Ask Jeeves as like a proper search engine. I remember p- people going on to Ask Jeeves to find stuff out there. Like, or ask weird or stuff. Or like you get you'd oh, load up Google and type in Jeeves or like Ask Jeeves. It's like a factual machine. Yeah. I think that's because my home computer you hit like the Internet Explorer logo or whatever. The browser st- st- went straight to Jeeves. <laughs> <laughs> I was restricted. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> Restricted just, from Google. <laughs> I was only allowed to know factual information. Did you um, ever use Bing? Nah. Screw Bing, mate. Screw anything <laughs> apart from, <laughs> from cheese. Um, so my mum's a childminder, right? And and as a kid, we'd have a, like, a home PC. And, you know, it's one of those fat ones with a massive screen, right? Yeah. And um, she had a kid. I won't name him, but... Um, he was of age where Damien. he was allowed to go on to the home, our home PC and have a little like play on games and stuff. Probably he was probably just going on Jeeves as well, to be fair. But, <laughs> but well, I don't think facts. he did because he must have found out a little workaround and I think he found Google and he started Googling like, because back then, if you literally search babe or babes on Google, it would come up with like pretty explicit shit. Well, anyway, 
I was on the computer and I must have searched babes or babe or whatever. And um, and my mum found the search history of our family computer and said, have you been looking at this shit on this computer? And I said, no, it's not me. It's him. It's the kid that who like you let to go on the family PC. And I made the kid take all the blame for that. <laughs> Yeah. How old was he? I like Like four. Seventeen or something. (laughs) Seventeen? Seventeen years old. (laughs) He's been child minded at seventeen. Yeah, because his mum was typing babes on a computer. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But we used to get like babes. Yeah, used to get like pretty good photos and stuff. Boobies. Yeah, well, obviously just that. Just He's gone home to his mates and gone, oh, I I searched the sickest thing today. Yeah. Went on Jeeves and typed in babes that came up with some madness. Jeeves was not the one. (laughs) Do you want to know a really bad story about this? I remember when I was in, I must have been in fucking hell. It was, it was pre, pre-primary pre school. I was in year, either year one or year two. I was young, very young, probably like nine. And I had older brothers, right, who were four and eight years older than me. And I think they called me into their room. I was so young. I'm maybe like, maybe, no, nah, I must have been younger. I must have been like fucking seven on the, if, I'm in, if, I'm in East, if I'm in that school. Um, and they called me into their room. And they're like, Benji, look at this. And it's like, I think I saw some woman with tit, her tits out or something. I'm thinking, like, oh my God, what the fuck? You know, I can't believe I'm seeing this right now. And then that, that was kind of weird. Went to school the next day, told Aaron Mansfield what I'd seen. I'm like, yeah. Aaron, I saw boobs last night. I, 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 no idea what I said. I said something to that effect in front of a TA. And then, do you remember those days at school when it's the Bouncy Castle day? And you get like a hundred bounces on a on a bouncy castle for like for like it's like <laughs> what? <laughs> like Did you go to school? Specific, mate. Whenever I tell this story, no one had this, but Hannah would have had this because she went to East Drop. They had a bouncy castle every year, and you <laughs> used to, used to have five minutes in the bouncy castle, and it's like a fitness thing. Was it a charity thing? Was yeah, it? they did it once a year. I bet you were knackered after a hundred bounces. Well, I don't think. I don't. I'm reflection. <laughs> like, you know, I know. Fuck me, lads. I don't know if I can finish this. Do you get, do you get, so, <laughs> miss, miss. No, can you no, help no, me? No, it's the other spot me on the bounce. <laughs> they get to like 95 and then they stop because they want to milk those last five reps because they want as Slow much bounce. time on it as possible. <laughs> right, back to the porn story, though. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it was that bounce day. And I remember I got, I probably got like 95 bounces in, to be fair, Max. And then my head teacher. She pulls, she pulls me out of it. Lynched you off the bouncy castle. <laughs> no money goes to charity that just day. Sweeps his legs <laughs> yeah. from underneath mid the, the doctors couldn't save anyone on that day. And she takes me into the headmaster's office and she goes, oh, you know, um, Mrs. Waterman. Oh, no, never Mrs. Waterman. Yeah. She, Allegations. She's, um, she told us about some stuff that was happened to you. And I was like, oh, okay. And she, it, was, it was almost a bit, on reflection, it's probably more of a welfare check. It's like everything all right at home. Mm. Little do they know my brothers are just fucking dickheads. Yeah. And I was seven and didn't know any better. And then my mum, they rang my mum. Mate, can you imagine being the teacher to ring up someone's mum and saying, yeah, your seven-year-old son's been looking at porn? Obviously, I had no idea what I was doing. And then we laugh about it now, but mum was fucking human. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. That is pretty bad. That was a good story. But most people, ironically, find the bouncy castle thing funnier than that. Yeah, that you, you should just mind. lead with the bouncy castle story next time. And then and then just lead him with the <laughs> yeah, porn after. Just, I was on this bouncy <laughs> castle and I was only allowed 100 I bounces. Should, I should you not ask Anna. She'll remember it. 100 bounces specifically. I think in year two, you got 200 bounces. And and bouncing off the wall counted. Are you serious? So you oh could you could God. do like a a bounce into a bounce on the wall. Rationing bounces now. They had a guy in a suit who would literally watch sit there and count you. I've got a vision. no. They would. You're oh, lying. Shit, you're you're li- I've got I've got to call Hannah. All right. I've got a vision. For Are you going to call her on the podcast? Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll fill the air anyway. I've got a vision of when when you said of oh, the um the head teacher came over and got you of just her like running onto the bouncy castle and just double bouncing <laughs> you <laughs> into space. Hey, hey, so, hey, babe, can you just confirm a fact for me if I... At East Drop. At East Drop um, School. Uh, two seconds. I'm going to put you on speaker. Two seconds. So Ben's claiming that back in East Drop, a bouncy castle would come along with a guy in a suit. <laughs> Once a year. Once a year. And, and you get 100 all, bounces. You'd all have 100 bounces each. Is this correct? I don't think no, it's definitely... <laughs> Did you go to East Rap, Hannah? Yeah. Do you, do you remember the hallway? Sorry, the, the, the big hall where we used to eat food at lunch. They used to have a bouncy castle in there every year. And we used to have a go on it. Do you remember that? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> it definitely always... happened. It definitely happened. All right. Thanks for that. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Love you, Bye. <laughs> Well, there you go. Oh, How many people have you told that story check. to, mate? I'm sorry, I've outed you there. Who can I call? <laughs>
Oh, mate. He used to have a hundred bounces. Imagine it's just that guy's got to sit there for an entire class and count each one a hundred bounces. I'm like, why was the guy in a suit for? <laughs> like, he was the bouncy castle guy. Why? <laughs> he just, he's probably just spent the whole morning putting up a bouncy castle. He's like, right, better go put the suit on. I'm about to judge these kids no, bouncing. No, no, it's the men in black. It's the men in black come out and just deploy this bouncy castle. <laughs> he's in a suit. <laughs> he's making he's it sound bouncy- weird. It was normal. <laughs> I thought it'd be cool, did it? We need to clip this moment <laughs> and outsource it to an animation company. I don't know who, to I an- <laughs> who went to East Shop? You just picture a guy literally rolling out in a suit with glasses on. It's like one of those like comedy like putting up a tent or something. Like he just flicks it and it just goes bang. <laughs> and, like, he just stands at the door like, yeah. checking for IDs as kids come through. He's got like big, like massive like aviator sunglasses on what happened when you hit 100 bounces what if you did 101 would he literally like li- was there like a guy with a bow and arrow no, it, it was like Robin Hood there as well like, shooting you it wasn't violent but like people just didn't expect you to take the piss I guess but you just did one then I think I think the 100 bounce thing was more of like a marketing thing so they probably just let you go on for five minutes I don't think they actually counted but there was definitely a guy in a suit there who was like in charge of the event I should have used this. What kind of school sh- were you going to, mate? <laughs> I should have used this as one of my... You remember we did like that fucking two lies and the truth? Oh, that yeah. should have been my truth. Because it's, it's honestly true. Oh, uh, yeah. That two lies and the truth was a good little genre game that we played, wasn't it? I need, to, I need to get someone on the phone. I honestly don't believe you. I'm sorry. I swear on my life it happened. But then I also it's think it's something dream. that's like weirdly specific. Yeah. That you it's would quite a vivid about. memory. The thing is, I'm not going to throw that random lie into the porn story just for the sake of it. Like, I just remember, because I remember I got pulled off the bouncy castle and I was fuming about it. And then I was shitting myself. Because, like, you know, when you get trouble as a kid, you were like, oh, fuck. Yeah. I don't really remember much from like school days like that. No? Little memories like that. Nah, I don't. I think, no, I don't. Do you have many school memories, Max? I remember meeting Boris Johnson... Oh. At primary school, wow! He came and he came and like he was like the mayor of wherever. I think he was the mayor of Henley before he was the mayor of London. Um, or he was like the MP for Henley, and he came and met us at our school. Was he and nice? I had absolutely no idea who he was. Was he a nice guy? I mean, I was like seven. I remember when Shane Ward pre- performed at our primary school, and um, it, he, it was really weird because he was like singing and and stuff and like dancing for all the kids. And on reflection now, it's really weird because the songs he used to sing was like about being in love and being breathless and stuff. And we were all like 10. Wow. Nice. And I remember someone asked him who he said, I think it was Charlie Bazzaloni, maybe. In that, I don't know if he went to my primary school. Something great like him. And he asked him, what football team do you support? And he said something like Liverpool. And he was like, they suck <laughs> <laughs> in front of the whole school. Mate, kids are savages. Yeah. Such little arseholes. Yeah. They're, they're I bet you were right arse as a kid, weren't nah, you? I was fucking lovely, mate, because yeah. I, I did 100 bounces and I got out of there. Wow. I did 100k. <laughs> <laughs> as an adult, mate, not as a kid. <laughs> Pipe down. <laughs> Josh, did you have any you talk weird, about? weird things from your childhood? School, oh, school I've, got, I've got one story that's not weird. It's actually quite sad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Great. Nice. Can't wait to hear this. No, the, was, the viewers it's... can skip four minutes ahead if they want oh, to. Oh wow, thanks, Ben. No, go on. Um, it's so stupid. I was we were playing bulldog in the in the school playground. What's bulldog? Uh, do you not remember that game? It's like tell me. It's, it's like tag. You there's like two ends of, of 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 like the playground, and you just have to get across. One person is trying to tag everyone. Yeah, and that's it. You bulldog. Okay, that's it. I think you're out or something like that. Yeah, and we used to play that in the in the playground at primary school, and I was. I was winning because I'm sick, and you got I, massive long arms. That's why. I, yeah, I run with my touching arms. everyone. Um, <laughs> 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 oh, my God. And I got quite cocky, like Mr. Tickles. <laughs> 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 Just bends round. Sorry, Josh. Um, and I got quite cocky because I was winning, so I started running backwards. I ran backwards, Ooh. fell over, whacked my head on the concrete. Blacked out for like 10 seconds. And then I tried to play it off like I was fine. And then like, I don't know, like an hour, half an hour, an hour later, I was just like throwing up everywhere. Jeez. I had to go home. Where's the sad part in this story? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Yeah, you just haven't that hurt, Josh. I remember... I was sorry, Josh. Josh <laughs> actually looks a bit awesome. devastated. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Josh. Yeah, you only missed a day of fucking primary school. It's not that bad. <laughs> Have you ever blacked out before? Uh, I have on a roller coaster. Have you? Yeah, I fainted on a roller coaster. Wow. What was that like? A wooden one, a Park Asterix in Paris. Oh, I've been on that. It's fucking rickety, mate. It's like being sat on a giant moving dildo. Isn't it the world? 
<laughs> Bloody hell. Isn't it the world's only wooden roller coaster? <laughs> no, mate. There's thousands of wooden roller coasters. That's where Where did I get that from? <laughs> they used to all be made out of wood. <laughs> There's something about it, though, that's like famous. Is it the world's biggest wooden roller coaster? No, that's in Japan. Is it? Yeah, I've watched documentaries on it because I used to have a, a fear of wooden roller coasters for a while afterwards. Or it's in America. America's got some insane roller, roller coasters. <laughs> Max, have you ever blacked out? Well, um, I don't mean like alcoholic blacked out. I mean, like, have you been knocked have out been or anything like out? that? Like, uh, gone unconscious? Without, I don't think without so. Wanting to. I don't think so. Yeah. I've, I've been like close playing rugby but i don't think i've ever like fully been like out out well i've never been uh knocked out either has anyone ever suffocated you max no asphyxiation asphyxiation yeah you're the sort of guy to be into that what's what's that don't it's I, just kind of like it's kind of a really cool thing oh that, yeah. that's when that's when you like like <laughs> all being, the kids are doing it nowadays <laughs> that's when you like like being choked out isn't it why while you um yeah, yeah, yeah. arrive yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 arrived at the most pc way of saying it isn't it <laughs> oh yeah oh, i'm arriving God. <laughs> Sorry, Joss. Uh, do you remember that time you threw up loads at school when at home? Yeah, and it wasn't that sad. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Good uh, podcast. when you threw up on a podcast. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry uh, oh. to night you about that, Joss. Yeah. Is this is this quite a new thing? Have you always been allergic to avocados, Joss? Is this quite a new thing? Oh, I don't know. It started when was it last year? Since becoming vegan. Since becoming vegan. There it is. Yeah. Don't, go is vegan. Don't, don't go vegan. vegan. Is there anything worse to be allergic to as a vegan than avocado? <sighs> hummus. It's, it's only, yeah, true, hummus. It's only bad because everywhere like uses avocado as the default thing to put in a wrap or yeah. a sandwich. It's a filler, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so it's, it can be it can be a bit annoying on shoots. We literally had it last week in London. The only vegan option at the the restaurant in, the, in their office was an avocado and broccoli salad. It's like, well... I'm not just going to eat broccoli. Avocado and broccoli. Yeah. God, that's like dumb and dumber. It's pretty bleak as it was, and then avocado was just the nail in the coffin. Yeah, Um, even I pretended I was allergic. It looked that bad. It did look pretty... What did you eat? (laughs) They've got two vegans here who are both allergic to avocado. We denied the meal. We are like, we're not eating it. (laughs) It was a disgrace, mate. It was actually really bad. So we went out to Pret, and then went to Pret. Majority of the sandwiches at Pret also have avocado in. Bloody hell, what a joke, Max. Have you got those receipts for me, by the way? Yeah, they're in my bag. Do you want them? Not. Shall yeah. I go get them? After. Okay. <laughs> I'm hoarding receipts at the moment. Just Where are they? I'm worried that they're in my wallet. Give them to me. All right. Give them to me. I've got them from like, they're like four months back there, just in case you're going to ask me, oh, Max, have you got that receipt from when you first started, that, that sandwich that you bought on a shoot? Every, I'll be like, yeah, of course I have. Every receipt you give to me, I want you to write a wholesome message about our friendship on the back of one. I can do that. Like, Every like, single one. Well, you should, you should just do what? Well, when I'm good at it, just ditch it all on Ben's desk, mate, and just pretend it's not your issue. Bit like you do with boxes on our desk. <laughs> Sorry. Is that passive aggressive? Passive aggressive. <laughs> 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 How is that passive aggressive? Surely that's just more direct. Calm down, mate. Calm. Sorry, I, I overthink things. I'm really it's smacked. Ag- I'm sorry. We can't right, even no. look at each other in the eye. It's funny. It's passive aggressive because you waited till now to tell me that. Is that the whole? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's all right. Apology accepted. <laughs> Good boss. That's a nice the shirt. That's a nice shirt, Dan. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. This is a very, very light shirt. A very, very light shirt. <laughs> I got it the other day. You got a nice tan as well, actually. Thanks. How have you? How have you acquired such a tan? Is that um, is that all from the sun? Yeah, it is. All actually. of it. Well, I was quite lucky because all of it has come from the sun. Yeah, nowhere it, else. No rays. Because I specifically remember you saying, "Why are you bringing this up now?" Because you fake tan. No, no, nah, no not fake Max, tan. You let me roll with this. Oh, okay, mate. sorry. So for the dunk, time, I'll, I'll sound like a well bad fraud. About what? Go on. Nothing. It's you, I've been on the fucking sunbed. You. No, I've been on the sunbed. I've been on it once in my life for the first time the other day. <laughs> and you tried passing that off like that was not like... And you know where he went? No, it, like, it hardly went? made an effect. Of course it did. Mate, Look I went you. away to the Isle of Wight for a week and got sunburnt. That's why I'm so brown. Mate, I came back from that sunbed and looked no different. Honestly. You can look at my chest. It's still so white. Look at my bum. That's white. Let's see your bum. Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... I may as well just roll with this now. Thanks for that, mate. Um, appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, so sunbeds, yeah, they're really fun. Went to the place, never been before. Went in there, met this really lovely lady there. She kind of talked me through how it all works. What was her name? <sighs> I, don't, I don't know. Did it end in IE or Y? I don't know. Why? Do you know sunbed just, lady with just, those names? Just tends to end in that, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah. 
What? Females. Jackie. Jackie, Katie, Millie, Bobby, Silly. Tantalizing, tantalizing. <laughs> Scintillating. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then I had to um, basically go in the room on my own, hit a few buttons on the bed. It was a lay down one as well, Max. Did you get naked? Yeah. Was your Roger out? Wow. Yeah, and I was not comfortable with that. I was going to say, was that weird? I thought, oh, I'm just going to go in and wear my... I, I even took like a pair of like little pants. Yeah. <laughs> the leopard print <laughs> <Little> ones. <laughs> <laughs> Speedos. No, yeah, I thought, oh, I'll just wear some little panties on there. Um, <laughs> oh you're going to get arrested, mate, if you're not careful. <laughs> Why? It's just a word. Um, and then... <laughs> And then, um, so that's what he's going to say to the fucking judge, isn't it? It's just a word. So you got three minutes to get unchanged. It literally took me about twenty, probably less, probably like ten seconds. So I was ten seconds. I was. You got a lot of practice for that. Yeah, you? straight in the buff, mate. Led on the bed. <laughs> it's good bang for buck. Led on the bed. Pulled the door down over the top of me, and I just remember her saying, "Like, just hit hit this button so it gets hot on your face. Hit this button so it's the lights or whatever." And I hit all the buttons, and I was just led there. I was like, "This fucking thing's not working." So then I just started smashing all the other buttons and I ended up hitting the button that actually turns the whole machine off and I was led there and it was all lit up like a Christmas tree next thing you know I'm just led in the dark and I thought oh for fuck's sake I'm bollock naked I'm going to have to go out now and say excuse me can you, come, can you come and help me with this <laughs> just walks out naked just like I can't <laughs> make it work not working. <laughs> he's like slender man like coming out of the room but I completely forgot that I've got to wait three minutes for, for me to get unchanged and it to all starts so, anyways led there the thing glows up I get in it again we lay down well, I say we, I lay down. Who's in there with you? Just me and... Bobby. And, yeah, my nice. naked body and nice. my own thoughts. I had to lay there. And the worst thing about it, honestly, is that Heart FM is the radio choice that you have to listen to. Of course it is. Do you remember so, the smell? Yeah, it smelled a bit artificial. Tanning oil, kind of. Yeah, tanning oil. And also, just hygienic-wise, there's a bit... Mm, I, I don't really want to be naked on here. And I'm also thinking, who else has been naked on this? And I hope they've cleaned it. I didn't think you had to get naked. You well, had- but then you get tan lines. That's why I only thought at the end. I've been like three or four times, like a few years ago. I used to go that one it, next to Moonrakers. Yeah. And um, the first few times, I used to put a sock on my cock because I was scared. I was scared I was going to burn it. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to sit there. Mate. What did you put? What, what Listen, so- was it? A trainer wait, sock or wait, wait? <laughs> So the first two times, the first two no show sock. On the first two times, I was just wearing like long white, black and white socks. Right? Oh and my god! I had that god. on my cock, and it, oh, I, was, I must look fucking ridiculous. The third time, I had it was the summer, obviously, so I had some of those invisible socks on. And mate, trying to wrap that round your fucking Johnson angles, <laughs> it's just impossible. So I thought, I oh, thought this, I'm going to have it out. But it's so much, it's so much nicer to have it's, it out. It's quite liberating being naked. Yeah, I'm quite a fan of that. Yeah, um, we've been to Brighton, and I've, I, we went to the nudist beach. And and I was like, oh, all right, I don't mind, I'll do it. But it was pebbles anyway, so it was well uncomfortable. Like as soon as you're naked, you, mate, imagine being naked trying to walk on pebbles. It's it's, it's Brighton. It's just nudist. a right, it's just a right mess. No the Brighton Beach is nudist, is it? Oh, there's a part of it, yeah. All oh, right. Only Hannah was there. She she was not getting into. Did that. you get your cock out? Yeah. And it was only, only told for, to Dan as well. Yeah, it's they were like, oh, beach, yeah, it's, it's a new speech, Dan, but it's... only you, bud. Is that when you went by that school after and got showered at? <laughs> Fuck me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> There's no schools on that beach <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, that was quite interesting. Yeah. Have you ever been skinny dipping or anything? I've been, <laughs> I've, I've been stark bollock naked in a spa with you. Oh, yeah. In, in Germany, yeah. Did you know much about this, Max? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've been told about it, but I can't really remember. It was very gay. Do tell. Yeah, it's not gay. It's nothing gay about being naked with your best friend. We made out. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we did. <laughs> <laughs> so we did. <laughs> uh, that was quite an experience, wasn't it? Yeah. We went to this. Casey Neistat did this film where he took his son to this. I saw that. Air hangar outside of Berlin and it's converted into a fucking water park. It looks sick. Isn't it the biggest indoor water park? In Europe, I yeah. think, yeah. It's beside the world's biggest wooden roller coaster. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. <laughs> no, it's the only roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only water park in the world. <laughs> and we went there and we, were like, we, we did like all the amusements and my knee was fucked and that's a whole different story. And we were like, okay, we've done all the slides and shit now and it's just full of kids. We, there was a spa area you could go to and it was like £20 each. We were like, yeah, let's go in. We're about to walk in and she stops us from going through the bar and she's like, oh, it, it's, a, it's a nudish spa, you have to be naked. And me and Dan just looked at each other like, well, we've come this far. We've fucking paid as yeah, well. Yeah, we've come this far. We both got naked and we're walking around and it's just, it's just odd because you see like, <laughs> we went into this one, this, this steam room. It was like the fucking shape of, it's like a, like a H. 
so there's like corridors and stuff when we were in there and it's dark and it's wet and I'm literally Dan's go Dan's on like the marble benches and he's like doing like bobsleigh <laughs> up and down on the, on his on his bare ass cheeks because he can slide in the water and I'm there absolutely I'm just creasing up and I've got the hose pipe and I'm like squeezing the end of it and I'm proper spraying him down it was like, oh it was, it was very God. homoerotic it was, it was so funny and then literally a mum and dad and their teenage yeah. son who was like 15 came in and they're all naked together and I'm thinking. That's that's their culture, but for me that was weird. That's yeah, it was so weird. Awkward. Just just to validate that story of what Ben said there, um, the the spraying it was whilst I was doing the rowing thing. It wasn't just I wasn't just stood there. And you were spraying <laughs> me. Like I was like, oh, like yeah, at the same the, time. Yeah, yeah I was, I was, I was pretending loop, to row. And well, I was just... lubing you up so you could do it faster. You know, it was all it was efficiency. <laughs> the benches were really long, like the length of this room. So what I'd do is I'd sit at the end of the room with my leg legs proper tucked up with my feet on the wall, and I'd push really hard. <laughs> And as I pushed really hard, I ran, I was pretended that I was rowing on the spot. Uh, yeah, and then rip was, all the skin off your ass. No, it makes it was so wet. It was so slippery. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, it really slid along, mate. It was like a fucking. It was like a bowling ball down a, a bowling lane. It just it just went. Ben just spraying me with freezing cold water whilst I'm squealing like a pig. Um, yeah, and then we went into this. There was this like uh, there was this arranged uh, sauna experience. Yeah, and we went in there and. It, we definitely were the only two British guys in there. Easily. And it was so easy to tell, wasn't it? Like, it was just so weird. Yeah. So we're sat and there's like two rows of seating, like in normal saunas. And we're on the bottom row, aren't we? So yeah. the top row fills up with everyone. And then all the people, the losers who didn't get the at, the at the start had to sit on the bottom row. So it works out that we kind of had to sit between people's legs. Well, everyone's naked. So we're kind oh, of, my I'm, God. I'm mate. sat between. There's cock like, and ball everywhere, mate. I'm sat between this big German bloke's legs. And he's got his big hairy legs wrapped Hands, around me. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh and then God. in comes like this absolute godlike man, wasn't it? Remember how yeah, jacked he was? He was just, he, he was like 6% body fat. It was ridiculous. Whilst I'm sat there with like just pure, like just yeah. British beer belly oh, hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Pint and chips. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. And this guy just starts like, he starts getting the coals on the fire, flaring that thing up. And then he starts like fanning people down. And it's and fucking hot. Yeah, and you just got to sit there and like embrace it. And there's like 60 people in this room, and you don't want to be the first one to give up on the heat. So you were like, well, I'm just going to have to weather this. Just sitting it out. That sounds horrible. There's also, there's also, there's a lot of fit birds around. I would go back. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like you were going to go off on something. <laughs> Oh my god! I was gonna, oh. I was gonna reply, but then he just, he just not, felt better to not say anything. That was not where a full stop should have been. <laughs> oh my god! That was definitely a comma, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> if anyone fancies it, who's listening to this podcast, let me know. We can make it some sort of trip. Because I know it's freeing, oh, though. Like being in those hot rooms, like it does, it does serve your manhood well. He's not. They don't. You know. He's he's on. He's on a good performance in hot rooms. Isn't yeah. He? Like there's a reason why there's no ice baths in that part of the park. Yeah. I would not fucking be in there. Nah, no chance. And then we were in the hot tubs near the end of the day, near the end of the night. Yeah, as the, as the nightfall came. <laughs> There's been a few situations in, in our careers, Dan, where I feel like we've just put ourselves in very gay scenarios where we've, we we just look gay. Um, and I'm fine with that, like when we had wine in Rome together. Oh, yeah. That's um, lovely. But we were in this hot tub, sat next to each other, and there was three other German couples. I assume they're German. And I'm, we we're pretty sure all three of them, they were having sex in the hot tub. Yeah, as and, soon as d- darkness came, mate, it yeah. became a bit, a bit of a different story. Yeah, and um, me and Dan just sat there like, should we, should we go? Wait, yeah. was this a big hot tub or was this like a Massive normal size? Massive hot tub, yeah. Oh, right, okay. It, we were literally two bros chilling in a hot tub. Five feet apart. Because we're not gay. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So I mounted Dan at that point. <laughs> 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 I wonder what would have happened if I did that. Did you feel left out because everyone else was shagging? <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I, I guess, well, yeah. Definitely made you miss like miss your misses at that point, I guess. But who wants to fuck in a public bathtub? I was also sat there just like that would have been so awkward. Yeah, it was kind of awkward. Yeah, yeah. it was a hella awkward. Yeah, it was a hella awkward. And we got the train back, didn't we? Yeah, it was really weird though because it was literally like you'd get a train into like the middle of nowhere and you'd just see this big hangar come out and you just get off at the stop and there was nothing else around it, just this hangar full of naked people. It was an ex-Nazi Zeppelin hangar. It's what they used to build Zeppelin. Wow, shit. Yeah. And so it's just fucking, it's a weird piece of like history there. Yeah, that is really weird. You know, you walk in and they've got, they make, they had fucking flamingos in there. They did. I've never seen, they they had the rarest birds I've ever seen. It's weird that they had a naked spa. Well, it's German. In the same place as like 
It was, like it was locked like... off. It was locked off. Oh, right, okay. It's like a gated thing. Okay. Joss, have you got any thoughts on that? Uh, Joss has passed out. <laughs> Joss has been asleep. I've just been absolutely wetting myself here. I don't really have anything to add to that. I don't. I can't relate to those stories. I'd quite like to go to a naked spa with you, Joss. I'd, I think I quite enjoy that I'd, with you as well. I feel pretty safe with you, naked. Yeah. Yeah. Am I the big spoon then? <laughs> if you want. <laughs> He's spooning. Wow. Uh, we'll stop. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um, should we talk about our second sponsor of this podcast? <laughs> yes, whoever that is. If it could be, who? Who? If you could choose. Any pod, any sponsor, who would it be? Muscador. That's a good shout, yeah. Who's that? It's a wine man- make, ma- maker in France. They make sparkling wine. Nice. It's not bougie, it's just cheap and cheerful. And it done. Yeah. I've very... got some in my fridge, actually, Max. We'll celebrate when your car comes. Let's go. By getting you pissed drunk. Yes. Did you know that the heart of a shrimp is located in its head? That's a fact, isn't it? Do you know, you know, my stag do's coming up that you've planned, Dan, and I've got no idea where we're going still. And do you know what Amber said to naked, me last night? Naked spa. Fine. Um, she was like, oh, whatever you do, don't get a black eye and don't drink drive. And I'm thinking, when the fuck have I ever had a black eye? And when have I ever drank drive? And she's like, oh, I just worry about you. I'm like, those are two quite weird requests. Yeah. I was like, First I, of all, like, why are you going to be driving on your own stag do? Also, have you told her that the Tesla drives itself? <laughs> <laughs> I was just nice. like, I was like, hey, why, why on earth, A, would we drink drive? B, wh- we're not even going to be in a vehicle. And then how, when have you ever known me to get in a fight? And even if those two things happen, does it really matter? Because yeah. like a black eye will go within a couple of weeks. Yeah. And you're not going to drive at your wedding. And a DUI is for life. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, have you ever had a black eye? I remember as a kid, I always wanted one. Yes, I have. Yeah. I had someone beat the shit out of me once and that was it. Really? Yeah. Was the reality of having one as exciting and as cool as yeah, it was made out to the be. The first thing I did in the morning was tell my dad I got in a fight last night because I thought I was fucking sick. And my dad was just like, cool. <laughs> Didn't give a shit. <laughs> if, if Which is probably the right response. His reaction was just the thumbs up emoji. Yeah, in real life. <laughs> nice. He just, he just put <laughs> shades on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is funny, man. Yeah, it's, it's just nice to have your parents together. In the same house. <clears throat> wow. My parents aren't together. I don't know why you would brought that up. It's just painfully awkward. <laughs> like it's like, like it's it's just. Do you actually feel awkward? No, I just don't know what to say. What makes you awkward? You. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for listening to this episode of Otter Culture Podcast. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Otterworks and follow all of us at our individual platforms. They are on there. You'll be able to find them. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next time when we return if you liked it let us know if you didn't like it don't let us know nice